Hello friends and welcome back to Virtual Happy Hour. I am wearing my glasses because I'm supposed to and it's easier for me to see myself, which is my favorite pastime. We are making a banger from the blog archives as requested by Kasha, the Fernet Fantasy. I don't know who I came up with this. Um, who knows, origin story is a mystery to me. Uh, but it is a rye cocktail that is going to be using some Fernet for that intensely bitter, kind of semi-medicinal, but it's balanced out by some Coca-Cola, some Demerara syrup, that's sticky, a little bit of lemon, a couple dashes of Peychaud's bitters, and this has sort of like a, I just spilled it all over myself, has sort of a, a bit of a distinctive absinthe, sort of a nice characteristic to it that makes it distinct from Angostura, but if you don't have Peychaud's, use Angostura or different aromatic bitters. We're gonna garnish with some cherries. So we're gonna start by taking the swath of lemon, which we will later use for our garnish towards the end. But we will need some juice of the lemon, but first we will do one ounce of rye into our cocktail shaker. We're just gonna do a dabble, do you, when it comes to Fernet, because it's quite intense. Definitely one of the most bitter Amaro. Quarter ounce of Fernet, half an ounce, quarter ounce to half an ounce of the Demerara, depending on how sweet you want it. And then half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon. I was inspired by that story I told you guys on Saturday about my mom knocking herself out. Boom shakalaka. To tell you another story about my mom. She, uh, two dashes of base shouts. We're gonna add some ice and shake. Once we went on a family vacation and there's only the three of us. I do have two half brothers, but they're quite a bit older, so they wouldn't normally be on our family vacations. When I was in university, I brought my friend Joanna. We're gonna play tennis. Good, we're gonna add one large cube. Very lovely rocks glass that I have here. Strain. We're gonna play tennis. Of course, we didn't bring rackets to Mexico, so we had to rent rackets. My mom and my friend Joanna, who share clearly a very similar decision-making process, a certain unknowable logic, they go together as my dad and I wait for them at the courts. We're gonna to top with two ounces of Coca-Cola. Wait for them at the courts and they come back with not one, not two, not four, but three tennis rackets. You know why? Because to cost the cost of renting a single tennis racket was six US dollars, two ounces of Coca-Cola. I'm going to give that a little stir, just if I can. Not really, can't, okay. So we're gonna take one cherry, one maraschino cherry. We're gonna need two, so we'll take two. We're gonna roll up our lemon. Hopefully it's pliable enough. Should have taken a much longer swath of lemon to make this prettier. Skewer the second cherry. Drop it in, here's the Fernet Fantasy. So they came back with three rackets because it was $6 a racket and they just decided that they could not afford that final $6 installment to round it out to $24. So we had to play two on one tennis. To say my dad was annoyed would be an understatement. I get my temperament from my father. Not, you know, not a resting bitch face, not the most, of cucumbers uh, in that 
sort of circumstance. Oh, Phantom Jigger on the move. Lips there now. Cheers. That's really good. If you wanted it less sweet, I mean, I like it, but if you wanted it less sweet, you could cut back the demerara, as I mentioned, from half an ounce to a quarter ounce. But it adds a certain je ne sais quoi, a little complexity. This is a, a real winner. Thank you for joining me. Hope you don't get caught in any three-handed games of tennis. It's not like euchre that you can play three-handed. You know, tennis, it's either two people or four people. Three people just isn't isn't the greatest number for tennis. I'm looking forward to tennis being on again because that is a sport that I thoroughly enjoy. It helps me with my cardio, you know? I have an absolutely wicked forehand. You just don't want to be in the way of that. It is blistering. So you might want to try me after I've had one of these Fernet fantasies. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on Friday. Make sure you have in your calendar Sunday, 8 p.m. IG Live, third episode of Behind the Wood with the fabulous Quinn Taylor of The Moon Room. You can get the cocktail kits if you'd like from The Moon Room. If you're based here in Ottawa, you can get a full kit with a full bottle of Sombra Mezcal uh, that would ultimately make 16 cocktails, or you get a half kit for uh, eight cocktails, or you can get just the sides and modifiers um, for much less. So those are your options, or you can forage on your own with the ingredients listed in the info I shared yesterday. So make sure you screenshot that uh, if you are going out on your own, if you're not here in Ottawa and you're planning to play along with us. Thanks for joining me. See you on Friday.